and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.2 we're gonna be going over every single step of getting shaders from finding the best shaders packs using our list here to also getting those installed in game and getting Optifine which is required for shaders it's all gonna be covered in this video you are guaranteed by the end of this video to have shaders set up first and foremost though we do have a more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server set up for you and your friends we actually love Apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them and at Apex you can start a modded server a spigot server a bucket server or just a vanilla Minecraft server for you your friends or anyone else you want to play on the server you can make it public you can make it a private server it is all up to you and is very very easy to do all at Apex they also have 24 hours seven day a week support that can help you out if you do run into any issues running your server if you have any like weird issues with plugins stuff they'll be able to help you out with that so if you want to start a Minecraft server yourself the easiest and best way to do it is with Apex Minecraft hosting again check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right Right on into getting shaders so here we have our list of the top five shaders packs all right so this is the best shaders packs that we've been able to find and all these are 1.16 compatible i have tested them personally all for 1.16 and they're all compatible and just all good right they're all working great in 1.16 some of them aren't necessarily 1.16 versions right they might not have a 1.16 version but that's just because the older versions work in the newest version of minecraft without any problems so nevertheless, once you're here, this is the, again, the second link down below. I'm going to install two shaders packs today. The first being Continuum here. And so scroll down, click on that green Download Continuum button. That'll take us off to an in-depth tutorial on getting Continuum. But we just want to click on this yellow Download Continuum Shaders button. That then takes us off to their website where we want to scroll all the way down to the very, very, very bottom. And you'll see Continuum Downloads down here. Click on that. And then finally, we can click on the Continuum 2 download here. It might not be 2.0.4, but it'll be Continuum 2. Click on that Download button. And then finally, it'll download on the bottom left. On Google Chrome, you probably won't need to keep it, but on Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save the file in the center of your screen. It's 100% safe to save it. Now let's go ahead and go back over here. We're also going to be installing today the Chocopic 13 Shaders Pack. So if we click the green download button there, it takes us off again to our in-depth tutorial for Chocopic Shaders. But what we want to do is just click on the yellow download button. That takes us off to CurseForge, where we can come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16. There it is. And then under that, we see Chocopic 13 V9 Beta. So this is obviously still in beta, but it is working for 1.16. We want to click on that purple download button to the right of that. And it will go ahead, wait a few seconds, and the download will begin automatically. Same as with Continuum, you probably won't need to keep this on Google Chrome, but you may need to save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now there's one more thing we have to download, and that is Optifine. Optifine is needed for Minecraft 1.16.2 shaders, so let's go ahead and get it. You can find this at the third link down below, so go down there, third link down below is the breakdown.xyz slash Optifine, and it will take you to this website here, where this you can find our in-depth tutorial for Optifine. We have this because... A lot of times people say I go too fast in these videos, so we always make text tutorials, and yeah, that's just how that works. However, once you're here, you just want to click on the green Download Optifine button if you're following along with the tutorial. Now, first things first, if it says Minecraft 1.16.2 right here, you want to come under that and click the Mirror button. But if it doesn't, that means Optifine has just updated for 1.16.2, and it's not out of beta yet. So we want to click on Preview Versions, and then you'll find Optifine 1.16.2 there. So again, if you see Minecraft 1.16.2 here, come down under this first version, and then click on the Mirror button there. If you don't see that, click on Preview Versions, and you'll find Optifine 1.16.2 here, where you can then scroll over and click on the Mirror button there. It will then take us off to this page where we want to click on the download Optifine 1.16.2 link and it will go ahead and download it to Optifine in the bottom left. Now, unlike the shaders packs, you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. You also need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox and as long as it has Optifine in the title, it is 100% safe to save it. Now finally, we can minimize our browser here, and we have Continuum Shaders, we have Chocopic Shaders, and we do have Optifine all downloaded on our desktop. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon, it's in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen though. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads. You'll then have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find Continuum, Chocopic, and Optifine. Drag those to your desktop. At this point, I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft tutorials. Hit that bell notification, all that stuff. We have amazing Minecraft tutorials coming out every single day of the week. But now, let's go ahead and get shaders. To do that, we want to start off with Optifine here. Let's go ahead and right-click on Optifine. Click on Open With. Click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Or my Optifine doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like that Java coffee cup logo. Instead, it looks like a, you know, a zip file or a just a piece of paper or a blank file or something like that. Well, if that's the case, or it looks like a WinRAR file, if that's the case, we need to download Java. So obviously, uh, shaders are a mod for Optifine, so you need the... Uh, 
correct version of Java for Minecraft mods, and you can find this link in the description down below. It's helped 1.4 million people get the correct version of Java for Minecraft, so go through this tutorial here. Quick three-step process that will get you the correct version of Java. In most cases, you should be able to then open up Optifine with Java, but for whatever reason, if it still doesn't look correct, it still doesn't look like a .jar file, and it doesn't look like a Java file, then you need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is make all the .jar files in your computer link up to Java once again, basically linking them together right like so. So that means you'll be able to actually open these Java files without any issues after running the jar fix. Again, another quick three-step tutorial, but 1.4 million people had found help from this sort of, you know, article and video here. However, only 600,000 people have found help from this one, basically meaning that most people won't need the jar fix, but for those of you that do, you'll be able to have it here and use it. Now, if we minimize our browser again, we can right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Java installer here. All you want to do is click on the Install button in the bottom left. It's then going to go through and install Optifine. It'll come up and say successfully installed. As you can see, Optifine is successfully installed. Now, if it doesn't successfully install, the only reason that I've ever seen this fail is because you haven't played Minecraft 1.16.2 yet. You need to go open up Minecraft 1.16.2 and just get to the main menu. You don't have to get in game or anything like that. Just open up Minecraft 1.16.2 and make it to the Minecraft main menu, close out of Minecraft, and then install Optifine just like we just did. Open it with Java, click on the install button, and then it should work. Optifine takes and mirrors the current Minecraft version and then installs itself into that in a new profile and a new version and so in order for that to happen it needs to have 1.16.2 already there so that's why you need to go play it without Optifine or any mods and stuff like that for it to work but nevertheless once you see Optifine successfully installed we can click OK and now it's time to install shaders but to do that we need to open up the Minecraft launcher here and then in the bottom left we need to go ahead click on this drop down box and if you do have Optifine in here go ahead and click on Optifine and click play but some of you won't have Optifine or you will have Optifine and it won't say 1.16.2 dash Optifine under it so if you don't have Optifine at all or it doesn't say 1.16.2 dash Optifine under it what do you do well we just need to make a new installation so to do that go ahead and click on installations up here at the top then click on this plus new button here and you can name this whatever you want I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am I naming it that because that is our own incredible Minecraft server we have greed protected survival in 1.16.2 with medieval survival Survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy, and Aquatic Survival having an incredible slash shop based economy, an amazing community. We have 108 factions with 10 player factions, making it more PvP based, making raiding extremely fun, and making it hard for one faction to run out and dominate the entire season, right? So even if you're joining factions a little late, you still have a chance because there's only 10 players per faction on Breakdown Craft. And then we also do have custom Skyblock, which has huge updates coming, but currently has OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP over there, custom islands fence generators, and so much more. So come play with this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, for the version, this is where it's important. You want to click on this version drop-down in here, and then we have release 1.16.2 Optifine. For me, it's right up here at the top. You may have to scroll down a little ways to find it, or you may have to go all the way down to the very, 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 very bottom, and it might be down there. But for us, it's right up here towards the top. We'll release 1.16.2 Optifine. Go ahead and click on that. Then we want to change our resolution to 1920 by 1080. You don't actually have to do that, by the way. You can just leave your resolution as auto or whatever. But for me, I want to change 1.20.1080 because we're making a video here and I want you all to be able to see once we get in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. Then down here at the bottom we have a play.breakdowncraft.com profile. It says 1.16.2 dash Optifine under it so we can hover over it and click on that green play button. Now, Optifine is opening and at this point installing shaders is very, very easy. The hardest part of getting shaders is installing Optifine and guess what? You have now done that. You have now got Optifine downloaded, installed, and set up. We are all good to go and we're just basically waiting for this to open up and then once we're we can install shaders. It's a pretty simple process and we're going to be done, right? So nevertheless, once we are on the Minecraft main, right? Like so, we can click on options. So once you're on the Minecraft main menu here, click on options and then click on video settings and then click on shaders. So again, from the Minecraft main menu, we're going to do options, video settings, and shaders. Now, if you have fast math turned on, right? Or fast render and you try to click on shaders, it sometimes won't work, right? It used to not work. Maybe that's something that's been fixed now. But used to, if you had fast math or fast render on, it would not work. So we're actually going to turn those off just to be safe. But nevertheless, those are there. And if you do have issues getting the shaders because of that, those can be turned off in the performance tab. But nevertheless, we're going to click on shaders here. And then once you're in the shaders window, all you need to do is click on shaders folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up your shaders folder. And guess what? All you need to do is take Continuum, Chocopic, or any shaders pack you want in Minecraft. This works for every single shaders pack. And just drag and drop it into the shaders packs folder. Now, if we come back over here to Minecraft, they automatically appear. And we can select them. So we're going to go ahead and select Chocopic 13 shaders first and foremost. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. 
It's going to reload Minecraft there, and then boom, we have this installed. There are tons of different shaders options over here for increasing or decreasing quality, depending on what you're looking for. But I also want to mention down here in the bottom right, the Shaders Options tab. I've seen this fix some weird light flickering and different things that can happen with shaders by coming into the Shaders tab and messing around. Every shader is going to have different stuff here, though, so you will need to truly mess around. But if you do do something that just completely breaks it, just come down here and click the Reset button, right like so, and then you'll be good. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click Done here. And then we can go ahead and click done here, click done, done, go back to the main menu. We're going to show you that this shaders pack is working. So let's go ahead and log into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com here. And then once we log in, we will be able to see that shaders is working right away. I mean, there's not going to be any denying it. Yeah, as you can see, it's actually very dark in this room that we're in. But if we go ahead and do P time day, this is just the shaders pack. We can see how beautiful it is, right? So one of the things about Chocopic shaders is it's very, very dark at night, as you just saw. But it's beautiful in the daytime. And so as you can see, we do have the daytime and it is it is stunning it is stunning i mean just absolutely beautiful if we go to our breakdown craft spawn we can see the light coming through there i think do you get any rays with this or no it doesn't look like we're getting any rays currently from this uh from this shaders pack some will have rays some won't we can maybe see about you know fixing our chunk render distance actually turning it down might be what we want to do there but as you can see you've got the castle here it's just absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful we switch over to like aquatic we'll be able to see how beautiful it is there but i don't think there's any denying that we do in fact have shaders installed in minecraft as you can see a little better at night with all this light that we have on the aquatic server but still pretty dark like you can barely see the bridge and things like that however if we do p time day we can change that and open up that light and just really make it look a lot better so wow Look at that water. It's stunning. If we want to go ahead and switch shaders packs, we can do that in-game by clicking Escape, right, and going to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and we're going to go ahead and switch over conti to Continuum. So we can go ahead and click on that, and it will go ahead and reload in the background. Click Done, click Done, click Done, back to game. And this is a much, much brighter shaders pack, as you can tell. Now it's still dark, right? If there's no lighting, it's still dark, but you can, wow, look at those god rays shining through right there. So awesome stuff there. This is definitely a different shaders pack. We want to see it completely at night. We can do P time night here on Breakdown Craft and set it to nighttime. And it makes it pitch black dark at night here. And that just is what it is. And oh, actually, that looks really good at night. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that actually looks pretty decent. But the uh, the non-lit places, if there's no light, it's, it's very, very dark. But yeah, this actually doesn't look that bad there. And there you have it. That is how you can set up shaders and minecraft and this is the best minecraft server in the multiverse almost 200 players online on a random sunday play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip i cannot wait to see you online and see you in this server but enjoy your shaders enjoy your new found look of minecraft because it really does revolutionize how shaders or minecraft looks i mean it takes it to a completely different and new level and one thing i will say is you will need a decent computer to run shaders so if you don't have any issues with shaders i mean you can see the difference in shaders packs there this really warmed up the tones so so much but uh let's see can we do p time is sunset yeah that's one to sunrise the p time sunrise completely changes the look of this i mean look at that like get those like golden hour sort of clouds and stuff i mean it's just crazy how different shaders packs change the look of minecraft but nevertheless that's not why we're here we're here to get shaders and you have successfully done that so thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more incredible minecraft videos we have so many more on the way and i can't wait to share them with you look at those god rays that's just incredible i mean just absolutely incredible but nevertheless thank you all so so much for watching my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace